Zephyr, Zephyr, Zephyr. This girl has got some hidden potential. She kicks ass and does it with style. And she's a bird. Wow. What's good folks, it's Nightmare Frame here with a new Warframe video. We're taking a look at the most overpowered bird. Yep, I said bird. Zephyr is an amazing frame, but seeing more of a niche pick. It's like, is she viable in every content of the game? Yes, 100%, but most people don't know that. She is one of the most underrated beasts in this game. Her kit is quite unique, but once you've mastered and fully grasped how she works, it can take you places. Places where you think only a few select Warframes can go. For example, killing an Orb Mother. Yup, I decided to test my build against the Profit Taker because I do dumb shit like this all the time. It might not have the best damage potential, like having a Chroma, Rhino, or Mirage, but hey, they can't touch me. I'm talking about those annoying douche monkeys who knock you down and stagger you. Good lord, I hate those guys. I mean, you can always take an Oberon, but hey, he can't fly, cause he's a friggin' goat and I'm a bird. You turn challenging game modes into a joke sometimes, especially if she's paired with a powerful projectile weapon. Turning those projectile weapons into a hitscan sniper. We all know about the jet stream and lens combo, but what about the new kit guns? Hmm, a catch moon with Zephyr is just stupidly broken. And now with the reworked Staticore, the synergy is out of this world. The only two augments you need are Funnel Clouds and Jet Stream. I have three builds built around these two augments, and it makes her a really fun frame to play around with. So while doing those capture and rescue missions, do you ever get sick of always taking Vault, Speed Rhino, Ash, Loki, and Korra? Well, there's Zephyr. She can zoom past all the enemies un un until you get st stuck on the door. Cause yeah, that's a thing. But we ignore that. She can get in and out just as fast as those other frames. Heck, even faster. I mean, cause she can friggin fly. She's a bird after all, <laughs> let's not forget that. Zephyr is a frame for those who want a great alternative to certain frames. She's fast, allowing her to fly across the entire open world map, making her perfect. I mean, I cannot stress this, so perfect for playing in the plains and Valis. When you have her there, there is no point of using your Arcwing whatsoever. Her first ability allows you to be the bird that you are. The only downside to this ability is that you can't stop yourself mid-flight and hover, but would have to nosedive and readjust yourself. Her second ability isn't the best for dealing damage, but good for knocking down or pushing aside annoying enemies. Also used to make your tornadoes bigger, well, actually, taller and kinda girthier. Her 3 is her damage mitigation ability. Modded with some range and decent duration, this ability will protect you from any projectile attack, just making a joke out of enemy guns. Her 4 is our status spreading twisters of doom. This ability is not as good without its augment. If you want this ability to deal damage, then you would have to play with its augment. If not, then it's just a CC and disruptive ability that can annoy your group members. She summons tornadoes that lift enemies off the ground. Shooting at the tornadoes will give them the element of the weapon that it was hit with. This applies to allies who attack them as well, so it can get irritating if some rando shoots it with electricity while you're trying to strip some armor. You can change the position of the tornadoes by aiming where you want them to be, but this only applies to the closest tornado. But with its augment funnel clouds, this ability turns into a tolerable ability. Enemies will no longer be ragdoll or displaced, but rather, when the tornadoes seek out the enemy, they will be pulled into the center of the tornado allowing you to unleash their devastating armor stripping potential. Of course, when combined with a proper element, this does mean the enemies will still have the ability to shoot back, so make sure you have your three up at all times. So if you're looking to pull in enemies into a juicy tornado onslaught, then you could use your Xenoric Void Singularity if you're playing solo, but if you're in a group, try and get a Nidus to pull in the enemies for a juicy attack. And now for those sexy builds. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I know what you're thinking, and you're asking why so much forma. We'll get to that soon enough. 
our jet stream build needs as much duration as possible. We're not using narrow minded because we don't want to sacrifice range. The 160 range is perfect for Zephyr when she casts her 3 for that perfect deflection. You don't really need power for this build as it just focuses on her defensive capabilities and gunplay. Now the reason for the Forma is because of this build. Two Umbral mods, just so we can balance out everything. For that decent duration, energy, HP, and power strength. Because we need the power for our tornadoes, of course. The augment we're using here is the Funnel Clouds. And our final build. The fun build is our speed boost. Jetstream alongside sprint mods will make her insanely fast. Do you need this build? Mm, not really. Is it good to have? Absolutely. friggin lootly. Zephyr may not be the optimal choice, but she just brings a really fun playstyle to the game. I actually saw someone write Zephyr Prime is MR fodder, and oh boy, did I want to dropkick that tool. She isn't for everybody, but if you have her and you want to give my builds a try, go right ahead and enjoy. Alright folks, this has been it from me, and if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like, share, and subscribe. And as always, peace.